speaking at the 15th edition of the Education Summit organized at Eros Hotel in New Delhi on 21st January 2023, Dr. Deepika, Assistant Director, Pratap Singh Memorial Senior Secondary School, Kharkoda, Sonipat, spoke to the Education Times and shared her thoughts about the summit, about the importance of technology in education, and how she is preparing her school in implementing NEP 2020. Let's hear her thoughts. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have uh, Dr. Deepika with us. She is Assistant Director, Pratap Singh Memorial School, Kharkhoda Sonipat. Welcome to the summit, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so, how's your experience here at the 15th Education Summit? It's an, like a good event, I would say, because you know you have um, given us chance to you know expand ourselves and to get to know the the future things that are coming into the education with an experience of the different different schools. Yes, thank. You. Absolutely. So as you said, you know, the technology is advancing and, you know, we have come to the era where we cannot imagine uh, our studies without, you know, the touch of uh, technology. So in your opinion, how, how, te how much technology is too much technology? I guess, um, I believe like if it is about education, mm -hmm. somehow it should be in the traditional way when it comes to the you know deliver the things because the teacher is the key thing and thereafter if, if it comes to technology it should be used as aid but note it should be considered as like the main framework that the, through the through a screen or smart tv we can teach the students or we can get that uh, like um, real thing that we want in a student so that is not right so with a teacher like a tool we can use technology with some limited aspects, but yes, they are very, you know, wonderful and helpful to our students. Right, absolutely, ma'am. So, uh, if we talk about the new education policy, and uh, you know, everybody is talking about it, and right now we are on the implementation part in our schools. So, uh, how you are doing at your school to you know implement the full benefits of NEP? So very first ma'am, uh, I just have to say okay, firstly we had to organize those workshops for teachers and for staff itself that we can understand what is it. Thereafter we uh, like organize parental workshops because you know uh, it is about uh, like it is a combined effort of teachers, school and the parents. So firstly like uh, getting it uh, we um, uh, had to manage those workshops for parents so that they understand what is NEP 2020. Thereafter we had to you know uh, implement the thing into the curriculum like we have to uh, uh, make it familiar with the students so what did we do is like uh, we promoted more this skill based learning and then uh, 6 to 8 we have we had given them uh, a, a summer vacation um, uh, like uh, training programs and this winter vacation training program and some other things like uh, uh, we started this these things like more particularly and more you know orientation based that yes we have to achieve this so that is how we had started but yes from next session we have some you know special plannings uh, because uh, the publishers are even coming with NEP 2020 for the next section, well prepared. Until yet, they were not even yet pre that prepared. So yes, we are, you know, trying it. It's beneficiary. Absolutely. Great to hear that you, you know, thought to involve the parents as well. It, it's a, you know, uh, you know, you say a child ki education mein jitna teachers ka role hai, parents ka bhi utna hi role. Simply. <laughs> because ma'am, uh, you know, it is like a student, uh, if we say it's a student, uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's the, the education system starts from the home itself. Because, you know, the way we are and the way we are making our child is somehow responsible for his or her brain development. And thereafter, if he or she goes to the school, it is a limited period of time when we, you know, we provide information to them. And that information is really productive when they have this involvement and this uh, um, good uh, involvement in the family itself. So they have ultimately the family uh, and uh, the, the parents itself who can provide them you know best education opportunities right right so uh, anything else you want to you know highlight about any technology that you have introduced recently in your school uh, i just believe that um, education system without the sports is incomplete a student uh, like in the early ages is equally uh, uh, like it is equally important for a student that they should have uh, be uh, focused about their uh, physical as well as mental health so for the you know we, we think about that if we are uh, thinking about the education of a child then we are busy in you know teaching uh, what is ABCD what is school you go to school and we have no attention about towards the physical uh, and the you know mental perspective of a child so if we are teaching a child so I personally believe that we should be you know, making a balance of physical activities as well as their uh, 
academic things. So I believe uh, in the teaching curriculum, we should give equal weightage to the sports so that we get a you know healthy brain out of a student. And thereafter, a healthy and you know a perfect brain can be you know further useful for I guess academics, technology, or anything. So in the initial stages, we should uh, like make balance of proper this physical activities and sports and yoga or anything, and there should be a natural touch among the students because nowadays they are highly digital, phone based, and room locked and AC. So, so our nation needs to be like this practical. So that is all from my side. Thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing your views. It was absolutely great to hear that you have done so much at your school. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.